that we are at this pivotal crossroad where we are developing and evolving our technology so quickly, we have to make a choice as a society. How much of our power will we give away to the machines? How much of it sounds like a science fiction movie? Where do those movies come from? This is consciousness in those movies asking us to explore how much of ourselves do we want to give away? And here's a perfect example, Elon Musk. Elon Musk has developed a, a new company called Neuralink. And his philosophy is, not, and I'm not sliding him for this, because th this is the way society learns, this is the way science learns, by pushing the boundaries. And Elon Musk is a brilliant man, he's pushing those boundaries. And, and I think he'll push them until he has pushed back from society. Neuralink is the first chip implanted into the human brain that directly links the human brain with the hard drive of a physical computer without a wire, without a cable. So it's like Bluetooth technology. It's, it's beyond Bluetooth, but it's, you can think of it that way. Right. So what he's saying is, if you can't beat the machines, join them. He said, let's, let's interface. Let's become one with these machines. Right. So, what do you so, think about that? So they, they have the chips that can be implanted into the brain. And I mean, think about what's happening. These are silicon chips that have contact points that are interfacing with human neurons. My personal feeling is it's a mistake. My personal yeah. feeling. I, I believe it's a, it's a dangerous path. And I also believe it's an unnecessary path because in the book, Human by Design, and in the programs that we offer, we have the biology that allows us to do already, we have this, what those chips are allowing us to do if we awaken that biology. We have, okay, the, the chips allow, the, the Matrix is the perfect example of this. In the movie, The Matrix, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it. But in, in the, the movie, The Matrix, the first one, the people who were awakening into the, the new reality, when they needed to learn something quickly, they had a port at the base of their skull and they would physically plug a cable into a computer, a hard drive, and they could download and learn programs very quickly. So very, Keanu Reeves is learning Kung Fu. There's a very famous yeah. line, I love this line. He, he plugs in, he closes his eyes, and then he looks and he says, I know Kung Fu. Yeah. Okay, and, and what he did with that machine, we have the ability to do right now through what are called mirror neurons. Interestingly, mirror neurons are a specialized class of neurons in the human brain that don't know the difference between watching an experience and having the experience. So when, when we, and we already know this, for yeah. example, this is why you can lie on your couch on a Sunday afternoon, watching a soccer game or a golf tournament or whatever, you're lying down, but you're watching this and your heart's racing, your muscles are tense, you might be perspiring, you might be you know, breathing heavy, and, but you're just lying there. I mean, if you think about that, it makes no yeah. sense. Your mirror neurons think you're the one on the field right, playing. Which is why we watch. It, it is. It's uh, and these are very powerful neurons, and they're also powerful in addiction. This is this is why pornography, for example, is so powerful. It's so addicting because when someone witnesses those images with the mirror neurons, it triggers the same the oxytocin and the same dopamine, the same very addictive chemistry because the brain doesn't know the difference between watching and having the experience. So this is, these are the, the bad things that we hear. The good things that we don't often hear is because the brain doesn't know the difference. When we learn to access these mirror neurons in a very specific way, we have super learning, Brian. We can learn, so I, I do this personally. I mean, we can learn very, very quickly. Uh, we can learn music, you can learn to perform the way another musician is performing. You can learn a foreign language very quickly. You can retain, not only retain, but recall information. Very super learning, super memory, super retention, super recall from the mirror neurons. And here's the kicker. Those mirror neurons in the, in the human brain are in the sixth layer of the neurocortex that is made possible through a mysterious DNA fusion that happened 200,000 years ago. When we showed up, who or whatever is responsible for our existence, whatever's the source of the intervention that appears to have happened, uh, made those neurons possible. And it gives us the ability, if we choose to access 
this potential to to learn uh, and experience uh, very very quickly we don't need to be physically connected to a computer but this is an example of of where if we don't know that and we go down this road i mean it won't stop there uh we end up giving our power away right to to a device and you've heard the old the old axiom if uh use it or lose it and and we run i think the risk of of becoming a species where we begin to lose this tremendous sure. beautiful potential and we are losing